Well, talk about another big week for changes around here. This time, we have a roof. Now, I gotta tell you, it was pretty amazing watching them work because they started, I don't know, midday uh, on the one day this week and got kind of half the barn done by the end of the day and then started with the second half the next day and we're done by noon. So for how much steel is now on the roof, it's amazing it only took them one day to do, but they did it pretty efficiently with two guys basically bringing steel and then everybody else just putting screws in all the way to make sure it's nice and secure. And that's what they say is now that the steel's on, um, the whole structure really kind of tightens up and firms up and that's why they took a lot of the bracing then off after they did that because I guess it's not going to fall down now. Okay, we've got another job to do and it's up in the mow. It's a job that doesn't need to be done right away, but if we leave it till the last minute when they want to take this part of the barn down, I think we're going to be in trouble. So we're going to start working on cleaning up and clearing out all the loose old hay and straw that's on that floor. Let's see what kind of job this is going to be.
Now, up here, when I was a kid, we used to fill like this chunk of the barn with first cut hay bales. Um, like every summer it would get filled up. Um, we haven't done that for quite a few years since we basically moved to um, round bales, but especially since we moved to TMR feeding, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 years ago now. And then if you look over on this side of the barn is the loose straw. Now, we're not gonna worry about this side of the barn because like that is, we are actually bedding the cows every day with the straw that's over there. So we'll kind of putter away at that for a considerable, a considerable amount of time. But over here, we've got all this like loose hay and straw and all that kind of stuff. And, it, and it's not making the nicest bedding for the cows in their stalls. So what we're gonna do instead is maybe about once a week, take a bunch of cartfuls of this and bed those that back pen of heifers with this instead. So that's the job to do today is get, I don't know, a bunch of carts. Not the most efficient way, but I don't know any other way. So we'll get a few of those carts and we'll get them and we'll bed those heifers up. also find about 50 years worth of old broken strings of binder twine. Okay, the other nice job done this week uh, was something else you got to look up for is those chimneys. These chimneys come out of a company called Sun North, a little further north from here. Um, and what they are, if you haven't seen a dairy barn like this, these chimneys, the air is going to be able to come in the sides, that fresh air, and then that hot air or the stale air can rise out of the top. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's little dampers up top. So right now they're wide open just because nothing's hooked onto them, but they'll be able to close. Uh, especially in weather like this, if we were afraid that the barn was going to freeze up, you could get those closed or almost completely closed, um, and that way you're going to trap that area if you need. But for the most part, definitely through the summer, they're just going to stay wide open and they're going to let all that nice fresh air come in the sides and take the stale air out the top.
we've got another odd job to do this week, and that is bedding the manure pit, I guess is the best way to describe it. We are dropping straw into the new manure pit uh, for the reason of trying to keep the frost from getting too far um, under that fresh cement. So when it's full of manure, it doesn't matter. It's not going to freeze when it's, you know, half full. But when it's completely empty, the problem is, is that it obviously can. Now, the one idea was, can we get, um, like, pump manure from the other pit into here? But the crust on that other pit is so frozen now, I don't know if we can. Well, no, I don't think we can at all. So instead, we're going to use straw, which lots of people use as a way to kind of hold frost from going too far in. Um, we're going to use straw to keep the frost out of the bottom of the pit. So here we go, dropping big round bales and spreading them out in a brand new manure pit. Well, I hope that's good enough, because that's what we're going to get done. Pumping would have been easier had it been a little warmer, but it is what it is, and hopefully that makes a difference. And then the other big delivery that came this week was quite a bit of insulation. Um, the insulation, so the ceiling, they're going to blow in the insulation for that, and they're going to do that. It's not going to be soon. Um, that'll be one of the last things. But that insulation, what they've got to do is you can see here where they framed in, um, you know, on these outside end walls, they've got this one done, is all of that needs to be insulated. And you can see on this far end how they're working on kind of finishing framing it in. Uh, and so that'll all need insulation. And then obviously for our office, uh, milk house, all that part, it'll need that insulation too. So it looks like quite a bit of insulation when it's kind of stacked in piles on skids, but I bet by the time you put bats on a big tall wall like that, I bet you use up a little. Yeah. 